Hello everyone, I'm Roseanne Sarika Benedict and I am here today to show you how to make a fabulous dessert. Um, it's hot out today. It's still spring, but it feels like summer. I think it's going to be something like 97 with the real feel. <clears throat> and um, I have a cookbook club tonight and so I thought I'd bring a refreshing dessert. Now, I'm going to tell you, I absolutely love Carvel ice cream cake and Cold Stone ice cream cake, but sometimes you just want to make what you want to taste, right? So I'm going to make an ice cream cake tonight, and it's going to have everything I've been craving. So very easy, simple to do. You take a um, springform pan. This is one of these pans that the bottoms come out, and um, we are going to just coat it with a little bit of butter. I have butter on this um, paper towel just coat it with a little bit of butter so that the crust doesn't stick and they come out really easy anyway but and this is a coated pan so um, <clears throat> excuse me so you do that and then we take um, <laughs> you know you can do anything you want be as creative as you want but this is what I was craving I took some Oreos a whole bag and I crushed them up with my food processor and I'm going to add about a quarter of a cup of butter to this. And that's just going to adhere all those little cookie crumbs together. Mix it up nice. It's not real moist. It's just enough to combine them and, and help them stick together. So the, the ice cream cake that I'm going to make is sort of a take on German chocolate cake and Mounds Bar. So <clears throat> I love... I don't know why I have this frog in my throat. I feel like I'm becoming a man or something. <clears throat> okay, there we go. Um, it's <laughs> okay. Uh, it's um, mostly chocolate, coconut, and nuts and ice cream. So, all right. So I just mix these up. I'm going to pour it in the pan. I'm actually going to save just a few to put in between the layers. My hands are washed. They're all clean. Although I do need, do need a manicure, but that'll happen later today, hopefully. I don't know. I have a busy day. Um, but anyway, just... Can you see this? I think you can. So I'm just putting, um, pressing the crumbs up against the sides of the pan, and then I spread the rest in the bottom. And then you should put this in the freezer for about a half hour and just get everything to be nice and firm so that when you um, are ready to pour your ice cream in, you know, the ice cream isn't leaking through. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. So this is the shell of my ice cream cake. So I'll come back to you in a half hour and we'll complete this ice cream cake. Okay, so I'm back. I have my um, ice cream shell that's been in the freezer for a half hour. Then um, I had bought ice cream and um, just left it out to make it a nice soft consistency, and which is really how I like my ice cream anyway when I eat it. But um, for an ice cream cake, you don't want to pour in a block of frozen ice cream. So um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use my spoon actually. So what I bought was just vanilla fudge ripple and plain vanilla and the reason is because I have the shell at the bottom I'm gonna put in some fillers in between and I just don't want too many flavors although one can never have too many flavors I guess so um, I'm just gonna pour this in this shell like so you can use um, probably about a half of a half a gallon um, for the bottom layer and the top layer but you only need a gallon total so if you buy one gallon and you want to just do the same flavors throughout the whole thing and then add your add-ins then you can do that as well but this is a nice size and I'm also using a nine inch um, springform pan instead of a ten inch because it gives it a little more height when you're cutting the ice cream um, so when somebody says, you know, they want a, a skinny piece, they get a skinny piece, but they get a lot of ice cream. <laughs> so, 
Okay, here we go. So, you know, very simple, nothing fancy. Just plop that in there and then add what you want to add, right? So in my case, I'm going to add some pecans that I already chopped and love nuts. So pecans in here. And I'm going to add some coconut. And this is, um, you know, shredded coconut, sweetened coconut that you buy in the grocery store. If you want to cut down on your sugar, I guess you can buy unsweetened coconut, but who buys that? Hmm. My mother's sitting here watching me, <laughs> <laughs> shaking her head. Um, I'll, I'll put Grandma Dolly on in a minute. Looks she hasn't been on delicious. my videos in a long time, right, Mom? Looks delicious. Thank you. Um, okay, so as much coconut as you want. And then I am going to take these little bit of crumbs that I saved and put those over also. So we have a nice layer of separation between the two ice creams. And then what we're gonna do, well, I'll tell you in a minute, but what we're gonna do to the top is um, put a ganache on top of it. And that's gonna be really yummy. So. Okay, so I have now my vanilla ice cream. And I'm gonna put that on. Again, this is the right consistency. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna do about half of the gallon of this. Half of a half of a gallon. I guess that's probably a quart, right? <laughs> I bought a half a gallon of ice cream because actually sometimes it's cheaper to buy a half gallon of ice cream than it is to buy the quart of ice cream. So, okay. So spreading this, I think you can see all this, spreading this out nicely. And then um, this should sit in the freezer for a good six hours or so. So, you know, my cookbook club isn't until tonight early in the morning and um, I'll have plenty of time to have this sit and then of course I will show you how to put the ganache on and you can decorate it if you want um, with you know more coconut more nuts whatever you want and again this doesn't have to be perfect because the ganache is gonna go on top and that'll smooth everything out but this goes right to the top of this wonderful spring pan. It's going to be a perfect dessert to have tonight. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, that's, that's pretty much it, except for the ganache. How simple was that? And you get to satisfy all your cravings that you have, whether it's, you know, um, fruits or, or, um, berries or you know whatever whatever it is you want to put in an ice cream cake you can do that and it's very simple easy not expensive and um so i'm going to show you the ganache in a, in a little bit bye i am going to show you how to top the um cake with some ganache but i wanted to show you really quickly you know i saved three oreos um out of the package because you have to eat an Oreo when you open up the package. But here's a here's an Oreo that was put on wrong. See, this is the right way to put the Oreo on where the design is on the front, but they put the they they put it together wrong. So, uh oh, I'll have to eat it because it's not right. Um, oh, so good. I'm gonna share one with my mother. Okay, so I am back. And going to show you how to make the um, ganache topping for the ice cream cake. So basically, I just took one cup of heavy cream. Oh my God, I have crazy hair, don't I? I should put it up really quick. Hold on. <laughs> I always have crazy hair. It doesn't really matter. That's not any better, but I'm doing it. Okay, so a cup of heavy cream and a cup of um, dark chocolate uh, chips in the heavy cream. And just let it sit for a minute so it all softens. So I'm just gonna sit, have it sit like that. Um, what's gonna be great is that 
Um, this is going to be a great dessert. It's going to be nice and refreshing, cool on this warm summer night, and um, it'll satisfy all our all our needs for chocolate, coconut, and nuts. So now I, I let it just sit for not even a minute, as you know, and I'm just going to stir it up. The chocolate and the cream will incorporate, and then I'm going to let this cool for just about maybe like 15 minutes in the refrigerator and then it'll thicken and you'll see how nice it'll thicken and then we'll pour it on top of the um, ice cream cake so here's my ganache I'm just gonna mix it up here more it gets really nice and thick and you can see the the color changes can you see I think you can it's awkward <laughs> awkward all right so i'm going to take it put it in the refrigerator cool it off for 15 minutes and then top it on to the cake okay so i just took my ganache out of the refrigerator and i don't know if you can see how much thicker it's gotten so i am going to take this and put it on my cake and finish up this dessert <laughs> actually I looked outside and it looks like it's going to storm, so I hope it doesn't storm for our party tonight, but um, let's see how this looks on my ice cream cake. Okay, so here's my ice cream cake. I just took it out of the freezer. Here's my ganache. I'm going to throw this ganache on top of this cake. It spreads nicely. It's going to be... A nice thick layer I'm using the whole thing here we go <laughs> I'm gonna lick the spoon when I'm not on camera and um, it looks great right and then I'm just gonna sprinkle some pecans oh, there's grandma Dolly come back hi. over here ma say hi to people because we didn't show them to you before okay there's grandma Dolly hi How everything I learned <laughs> I've learned from her, right? Right. I hope. And what do you love? Do you love nuts and pecans as well? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, are you getting shorter? I don't know. I'm shrinking. <laughs> I think I'm shrinking. Okay. Well, just a little they bit of... say I'm shrinking. A little bit of coconut around the edges, right? Little pecans in the middle. And that's our ice and cream. Coconut. coconut and pecans, so... Delicious. Right? We'll that's save you a piece. delicious. Okay. Enjoy. Okay. If you have any questions about this recipe, you know where to find me. And uh, until the next time, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wave bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye. <laughs>